police hoping for help from the community to find the people responsible for the city's 88th homicide this year. Investigators say 33-year-old Candace Proctor was found lying in the street on North Alabama Avenue. She suffered an apparent gunshot wound to the head. Tonight, we're speaking with Proctor's family members. Three in your side's Quentin Smith tells us how they are trying to cope with her tragic loss. Yeah, Maggie, it's been less than 24 hours since that crime happened, and family members are still devastated and shaken up. But they say what's even more frustrating is the fact that whoever is responsible for this is still out on the streets. It's not easy, so no, we're not okay. As she scrolls through photos of her sister, Jasmine Proctor is heartbroken and in disbelief. Nobody wants to get a call about their sister being deceased. Her older sister, 33-year-old Candace Proctor, murdered early Tuesday morning. For the moment, we're not sure what happened. We just know she was killed. According to the Jackson Police Department, the homicide happened on Alabama Avenue east of Capitol Street. Police say Proctor was found lying in the street with an apparent gunshot wound to the head. Jasmine says her sister did not live in the area she was found. Family members described the 33-year-old as an outgoing person who was loved by many, which makes this crime even harder for them to comprehend. Kenny was a fun person. <laughs> she was full of life. Everybody that knows her know she's the life of the party. So it's hard to believe that somebody could do this to her. It's sad because it's just how the way they did her. And they, they didn't have to do it like that. Now, family members have this message for whoever is responsible for the crime. The people that did this, they need to be held accountable. They need to speak up so my sister can get the justice that she deserved because what was done to her, it's not right. Nobody should have to ever go through that. So far, an arrest has not been made. If anyone has information about this crime, you're asked to contact the Jackson Police Department or Crime Stoppers. And remember, you can report anonymously. Quentin Smith, three on your side.